Hello Primary 5 children, you are most welcome to our second lesson of science. Um, the other time we were together in the previous lesson we looked at intubation. Right now we are going to look at types of intubation. Types of intubation. There are two types of intubation. We have natural intubation and artificial intubation. In this lesson we are going to look at natural intubation. What is natural intubation? This is the type of intubation where a mother hen is used to provide the necessary conditions for eggs to hatch. We use a mother hen. When we come to look at artificial intubation, we shall be looking at the use of machines. A machine that is used for hatching eggs is called an intubator. An intubator. But this time, our intubator is the mother hen. The mother hen is providing the warmth. The mother hen is providing the security, the protection to the eggs. So this is what we call natural intubation. A type of intubation where a mother hen is used to provide the necessary conditions for eggs to hatch. At this time, the mother hen is referred to as a broody hen. Children say broody hen. Broody hen. Thank you very much. A broody hen is that type of hen that at the time when it is sitting on its eggs. In most cases, our broody hen changes behavior. It changes the way it cries. It spreads its wings. It, it makes a funny noise and it becomes more aggressive. Aggressive in a way that it can even attack you when you come close to its eggs. That is our broody hen. Why, a bro why does a broody hen leave the eggs for some time during intubation. This time, uh, this is a time when the hen leaves the eggs, abandons the eggs, and it moves out for something like 15 to 20 minutes. It comes out naturally that a hen needs to feed. It gets out to get some things to eat. Number two, it gets out to give some space for the eggs to get some fresh air. Refreshment. It also gets out to get some exercise, body exercise. So these things happen naturally that a hen is not supposed to sit on the eggs for all the time. These eggs need some space to regulate temperature because when a mother hen is seated on them, they, they overwarm. So at some at times it gets out and then they get some air and they cool down. How to ensure effective natural intubation? If we wanted our eggs to hatch in big numbers, if we wanted our hen, our hen to intubate the eggs and successfully we get so many chicks, these are the things that we are supposed to look at. One, only fertilized eggs should be used. Fertilized eggs should be used. Eggs get fertilized when our hen, during the season, the, the laying season, it is exposed to a cock. When a cock mounts the hen, we are assured that the eggs laid are fertilized. So only fertilized eggs do hatch. So we need to ensure that at the time the hen was laying eggs, there was a cock available. Number two, the place should be having dim light. The place where the hen is intubating from should have dim light. They shouldn't be, there shouldn't be a lot of light. So there should be some level of darkness. Number three, the place should be free from vermin. Vermin. Children say vermin. Thank you. Vermin refers to all those bad animals, animals and insects that can bring harm to our chicken. Examples of vermins, we have this mister. That mister is very dangerous to our chicken. It finds them it, uh, intubating eggs. It can poison them. It can, in, uh, it can uh, bite them and it kills them. Number two, it also eats the eggs. It eats the eggs. So that's one of them. We also have insects. We have insects that can come and attack like the red ants. They attack our chicken during this time when they are intubating their eggs and they can be a problem. 
We have wild animals like cats. We have wild cats that can easily come. Even dogs. If a dog comes to eat your hen, it has now become a vermin. So that is the meaning of the word vermin. Then the next, the nest should be clean and dry. Our eggs may not hatch if they are in a wet environment. If the eggs are in a moist environment, too much moisture can, can prevent our eggs to hatch. So those are the factors that we need to put in place to ensure that our hen, our, our eggs are incubated successfully. Advantages of natural incubation. What are those good things that are there when we use a hen instead of a machine? One, it is cheap and easy to manage. You don't need to use electricity because the other incubators use electricity. So here, a hen generates its own body heat to warm the eggs. Number two, chicks get extra care. When the mother hen uh, has finished incubating, chicks have hatched out of the eggs, it continues even feeding them on simple food. It continues protecting them from vermin and other wild animals. It also gives warmth to them when the when weather changes. When it rains, it covers them. So all this is under care. Chicks are protected from, by, uh, from the mother. Chicks get protection from the mother. So when birds like eagles, kites, come to snatch our chicks, the mother hen is there to protect them. Lastly, we are going to look at disadvantages of natural incubation. What are those bad things that are under natural incubation, unlike with our artificial incubation? Few eggs are incubated at a time. This mother hen you're seeing can sit on, if a mother hen is, is big enough, it can only incubate up to 15 eggs. So you can imagine, if it is, you wanted to hatch 100 eggs, you need more than 8 birds to do the incubation. So eggs incubated at a time are very few. Number two, it is not suitable for commercial farming. So if you, are, you want eggs to hatch so that you can sell chicks, this one is going to incubate only 10 eggs, 10 to 15, and yet there is a businessman who wants to buy 300 chicks. So that means you need 30, 30 mother hens. So this type of incubation is not suitable for commercial farming. Number three, eggs are not tested for fertility. When we go to commercial farming, there the are machines that detect that the eggs are fertilized. So when you put the eggs in an incubator, you are at least 95% sure that they will hatch, apart from those other factors. But here, with the, with the mother hen, you may, we may not employ uh, testing for fertility. Hens used may not be good at incubation. There are some hens which are silly. Instead of sitting on the eggs, they waste a lot of time looking for food out there, and they even forget about the eggs. So when the eggs stay for long, weather has changed, temperatures have changed, they may not hatch. So some chicken are not good at incubation. Lastly, the mother hen may easily be attacked by vermin. Because the mother hen is seated in one place, it may not have enough protection from vermin. It can easily be attacked. Uh, thank you very much, dear children, for being attentive for this lesson. I want still to send you to our workbook. You check page 28 and page 29. There is some activity to be done. God bless you.